Hi, it's Susan here and welcome to In The Craft Room. In the last episode, we prepared, traced, cut out and ironed on all of the pieces to make the old brown applique character square. I added my own details and today I'm going to stitch around all of his pieces with the sewing machine. I'm going to be using a zigzag stitch and the first area that I'm going to stitch around is his body and head. So I've stitched around all of Old Brown. I'm going to be now stitching around the acorn border or hollow on the inside and outside of the ring. The inside of the hollow is stitched. I'm going to be stitching the outside now. Old Brown has been given a good press. I'm going to be drawing in his details, just tiny details like his eye and his feathers with my brown fabric marking pen. I've drawn in his finer details, just going to give him his final press. And while we've got the iron out, I'm going to continue my use of these iron-on floral motifs. Um, his little branch that he's on are iron-on floral motifs. I'm going to use the same type and embellish the hollow ring around him. I'm happy with the placement of my iron-on floral motifs. It's time to press them. So here we have the completed old brown applique. I've done my own thing, which I think worked out for the best. He's got a real woodland feel about him the acorn fabric, the floral motifs, and he's got a lot of character too. I hope you enjoyed making your old brown applique square. Thank you for joining me today and please don't forget to like and subscribe so we can continue making our videos. Please hit the subscribe button. 
see you next time when we make the checkered square. Bye!